Hey, you messy gang, gang, gang. What's poppin', everybody? It's your girl, Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grab a cup of tea. Let's jump straight into this mess. But first of all, if you're new here and you want to join the messy gang, kindly hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you know wherever we upload. We're shady. We're messy, a little bit nosy, honey. Let's jump straight into some mess. Well, today's topic, we're going to talk about some beef, okay? It seems like the beef between Hamisa Mubeto and, of course, Zari, the boss lady has been ignited okay due to the white party that zari did okay you all remember the zari's what party was main, the main theme was like white and also belair was everywhere some people were speculating that belair actually belair Belay, okay. Belay actually sponsored the entire party, but that wasn't the case, okay. I think Zari was just looking for you know a good look for her whatever white party that was going on. And what happened is people were actually saying that Zari was trying to lick some ass with people from Belair to have them post her party on Belair's official page on Instagram. But we later on saw Rick Ross posting Zari, okay? It, the, the post itself wasn't on Rick Ross', Rick Ross page. It wasn't on Belair page. So people were wondering, was the tea? How come Rick Ross did the video that we actually saw but we haven't seen it in any of the two instagram pages and people are speculating that maybe rick ross and hamisa mobeto are not that good girl right now that's why rick ross decided to work with zari and i told you that with rick ross it's all about his money first okay it's all about business he's a businessman and that is exactly what he's going to do so what happened yesterday was christmas right Hamisa Mubeto was gifted this nice hamper and also reposted at Belair, honey. Okay, she was gifted Christmas with a couple of Belair bottles. And her fans went crazy talking about, yo, what's good? Guess who has been reposted? Like, Miss Mamas, the only closest you'll ever come to Rick Ross is being near his a picture that is what some of the comments that i was seeing on amisa mobeto's page but y'all also must remember i saw somebody told telling me that her mr mobeto is actually brand ambassador to belay okay she works for them so she anything that she does that is associated with them they'll definitely show her support zari doesn't work for belay okay she only used their product were they supposed to post at Amisa on the official page, I thought it could have been just okay because at the end of the day, you know, Amisa uh, Zari was doing some free promo when she was posting videos of Belair and all that. But I still don't understand. Some people saying there's politics behind it, you know, because since Belair works with Amisa, they wanted to keep that loyalty and uh, they chose Amisa's side. Yes, Zari was out here promoting, talking about Belair, talking about it's all going to be bougie, going to be classy. We saw us helping her to promote it. But then at the end of the day, it wasn't posted anywhere. But we are seeing Amisa Mobeto's uh, picture or rather video of her being sent some couple of bottles being posted. And her fans are like, mm mm we are past y'all right now we are up on top but anyway tell me what you think down in the comment section what's your opinion in the topic that we've just talked about but anyway it is what it is tell me what you think down in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe share like and comment follow me on ig drizzy underscore radio follow me on tiktok and also on twitter keep it classy stay messy of course see you on my next one bye bye